Alle gleich da in die Jelnitze, acht Pufelker in der Stub oder in der finstere Pivnitze, fünf Slotes vor der Breitel und kein Geld in die Stornbeitel, Ormen reich, alle gleich da in die Jelnitze. When I was six years old or seven years old, um, I was starting in school. There were no Jewish uh, students. So my older brother told me, if you go to school, remember they're gonna gang on you, okay? They're gonna call you dirty Jews. I'm gonna teach you how to fight, he said. Je savais que je serais séparé avec ma mère. Alors ma mère m'a toujours dit, la première occasion, Tu t'en vas, tu fous le camp, tu pars. Elle a décousu mon étoile. Toujours ma mère. C'est très important pour moi. Et quand les portes, quand les portes se sont ouvertes du vélo dans l'hiver, je me suis roué sur les gendarmes les plus proches qui étaient en cercle autour de nous. Je les ai bousculés. Ils m'ont couru derrière. Mais à 17 ans, j'étais un gosse de la rue, comme je vous ai dit. Je courais très vite, j'étais fort, robuste, et je n'avais peur de rien. Ils m'ont couru derrière, ils sont partis. People didn't lose their religion in the ghetto because it was the ghetto during holidays. People organized a quorum, a minion, where they dabbed together under the watchful eye of, of people that were standing outside that they shouldn't, be, uh, they shouldn't be discovered that they are having a minion, that they are doing uh, services. The Germans came into the house, they started beating my mother, and I jumped on the German. Me, boy, hey. He hit me right here, I still have this scar here. The amazing part of Theresienstadt was that you had this uh, cultural activity almost in any aspect of culture. Uh, we had famous painters, one of them even survived. Um, who recorded the horrible parts of the ghetto. Their paintings are renowned and are exhibited periodically. We had uh, musicians there. They studied Requiem, the Bartered Bride. They were performed times and times again, and staff people were rushing to uh, see, be able to listen, or um, attend debate circles. We were debating them for philosophy of Kant, to assets of Marxism, uh, name it, it was discussed there. Perhaps it was an escape mechanism as not to think about the misery of the day. I don't know. Um, till today, I can't explain it. While, we, while hungry, we were involved in that many uh, aspects of culture. There were uh, groups, there were lectures, there were discussions. It was illegal and it was under uh, underground, but it was going on. And we are in the train, we are going to die. I am resigned, Lola is resigned, not Yasha. Yasha and there was another colleague there from my class, Oleg. They right away go to see how 
strong are the boards where they were, uh, the, the opening for, for air for the cattle was boarded off. How if they can remove this? They were going to jump. It took Oleg and Yasha good few hours till they, with their hands, took off the, the boards, removed the boards. And it was late at, at night and decided who is jumping. Lola doesn't want to jump. Lola is going to sit with my parents. And so I convinced her to jump. And my mother takes a, a handkerchief, tears these two stripes and ties our shoes. We should not lose them when we jump. So first is going Lola, right after the I go, and then Yasha. Vous voyez, je n'étais pas un prophète, mais je voulais quand même qu'il a une guerre dure à longtemps. Et j'étais sûr qu'elle allait me voir perdre, mais il fallait penser de, de sauver la tête. J'avais un gendarme qui, ma fille, était un ami de sa fille. Il était là. Et c'est lui qui m'a conduit dans, les, dans, les, dans la résistance. Nous n'habitons pas chez nous à la résistance. Nous étions dans le bois, ça s'appelait le bois de Transer. Oui, on a draillé deux fois le train. Sur Montluçon, pas loin de Vichy justement. On a eu des contacts avec des, des Juifs qui étaient aussi dans la résistance. On a mis des barrières, des barrières de, sur la route de bois. On a tiré les cordes. Les Allemands sont passés, hein, ils sont tombés. Il y avait quatre personnes, on les a tous retrouvés. taught to how to how to uh, use arms we were taught how to uh, take apart uh, a, 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 a gun all kinds of guns we were taught uh, well any kind of gun and how to put them together how to take them apart L'ambulance m'a été donnée par le camp, par les Allemands, pour sauver les blessés, les malades, les crises d'appendicite, les maladies qu'on pouvait avoir dans un camp. Et tous les matins, il y avait 5-6 juifs près de l'ambulance. Je ne pouvais pas en prendre beaucoup. J'avais le laissé passer allemand pour deux. Une partie, je le déposais dans la rue et une partie à l'hôpital. Et un jour, le commandant de l'hôpital m'a dit, mademoiselle, vous nous apportez trois, quatre fois par jour des malades qui ne sont même pas malades. Nous n'avons plus de place. Nous avons mis des matelas par terre. C'est là que le docteur Brami m'a dit, écoute Gisèle, il était tunisien, un juif. Écoute Gisèle, ce sont des hommes. Quand tu ouvres l'ambulance, au lieu d'ouvrir à l'hôpital, ouvre-la sur les champs Élysées et laisse-les se promener et partir. Ils vont se débrouiller. Tu joues trop avec ta vie. Et un jour, le commandant, il y en avait 17 dans l'ambulance. Mais non, j'étais me choquée, je crois, de prendre 17 personnes. Et l'aubert commandante, il m'a dit, Gisèle, descendez de l'ambulance, descendez. Ouvrez les portes. Ah, j'ai dit, non, mon commandant, pas moi. Vous, comment moi J'ai dit, ouvrez les portes, aujourd'hui, c'est le typhus. Moi, je ne veux pas ouvrir. Il m'a regardé, il m'a dit, Raoul, c'est Schnell. On a ouvert les portes et je suis parti. Since we were all Jews in that camp, and uh, there were a lot of Orthodox people, and we even had a cantor that came there that was there from, from Warsaw. And uh, he organized uh, one service uh, during the high holidays, a military service. He was the cantor, and uh, he conducted the service. He formed a small choir, knowing that I can sing and a few other fellows. We formed a choir and we practiced and we gave one service in that camp for the high holidays. 
It was very uplifting, not only for us, that we could do it, for all those that attended that service. Of course, we were at three shifts that went to work, and only two shifts that knew about it came to, to, uh, to listen to our service. We still, no matter how bad we, we had it, uh, we still knew that we were Jews and we still had our religion and our hopes. French Jews, well, they, uh, they had a very different approach again to life. They were the ones that, when we got into the factory, taught us how to sabotage. Uh, we were to drill holes in some part that goes into a, a machine gun. These uh, French uh, Jewish women taught us to, if we do it very much to the side, it will not work. And since we are children, they will not suspect us nearly as much. I said to my brother, if you have a chance, when we walk out again, in our way, it gets dark, if you have a chance, and we could see that people were dying on the roads, as soon as they rested, they were shot. I said to my wife, you have a chance to escape, try it, because I'll try it on my own. If we can, we don't have to escape together. Maybe one of us will save, save himself from, from certain death. Determination was there to survive, to see the downfall of, of this German might that was embracing all of Europe. We knew that is, it, will be, it is inevitable, it will, it will happen. But of course, we didn't know whether we will live to see it happen. All those that still live had hope to, to survive and see it. This gave us courage. This gave us a purpose to survive and to, to do whatever we could. <laughs> 